What's going on guys? It's your boy Shabazz and welcome to the channel. So, there are a couple things that really tick me off, right? Some of them for simple reasons, and for others, there's a story behind it. So today, I'll be going over five of the things that I really dislike the most. If these apply to you, then... It is what it is. It is what it is. <laughs> now, without further ado, let's get into it. So, one of the things I really hate is slow walkers. All right, I'm from New York City. Okay, so people from New York, we move with urgency, we move with a purpose. So it just sucks, especially in Times Square, where you're moving to your destination and someone is cutting you off every five minutes to take a picture or you're like, oh, look, that, that is over there. Like, that's just really annoying. What the hell wrong with you? What's wrong with you? What's wrong with you? That shit ain't gonna work. Number two is people who bash their race. I went to College of State and it was a PWI. For those who don't know what it is, it's a predominantly white institution. Now, there were black dudes who went to the college who would date white women. That's cool. Have a preference, whatever. Do you, King? Whatever. However, it came to a point where if someone wants to ask them, why not a black woman? Then they would say, oh, black women are too loud. They're too ghetto. They're too obnoxious. Oh, no. I know. Like, do you not hear yourself right now? You have black mothers, black sisters, black cousins, and people in your community that's black. And you're saying that they're loud, obnoxious, and just just rude and all this extra stuff. Like, that's that's stupid to me. You don't have to bash your race, your own race, to justify why you're dating another one. If you want to love who you love, that's cool. If you got a preference, say you have a preference and keep it pushing. Number three, dudes that lie on their... Yeah, it's happened a lot too in college where, you know, two dudes were, you know, engaging in a conversation and then they'll mention a shorty and then the dude, his mans would literally say, oh, yeah, I had that. Oh, yeah, I used to talk to her. Knowing damn well he never had a conversation with her and two, he's capping. So why is he doing that? That's very childish and it's very corny of some guys do to really step in the way of a person's success just so they can have a chance to get the girl. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? Bro, I'm out, man. That nigga's tripping. Number four. People who do too much. And what I mean by this is it's people who are just extra for the sake of being extra. But I have a theory. People talk loud when they want to act smart, right? Correct! When they enter a room, they suck all the positive energy, like, out of everyone else but then there's people who make a scene just for the sake of making a scene you know they when they step into a room they acknowledge ah what's up bitches ah like, it's worse when you mention someone's name and then people immediately like suck their teeth or they roll their eyes it's like like why are they here or why are you bringing them up in conversation like bruh it's, it's like damn like i got no beef with this person but everyone around me do is like yo like what did they do that's so bad Number five, people who make generalized statements. All men are this, all women are that. All guys are the same, all women are the same. If all men were the same, finding someone to be with wouldn't be a problem. When people say, oh, all guys are the same, that really irks my nerves because maybe all the guys and girls you pick are the same. We all have, it. We have people with similar qualities. Yeah, sure. but. We're not all the same. Pow. Oh! <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, that's all I have for today. Make sure you guys like, share, and subscribe. Don't forget to tell a friend to tell a friend, and I'll see you guys in the next one.